Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about recruit API integration. I will show you how you can send request to get candidate details satisfying specific criteria. So without any delay, let's get started. I am using Postman to send the request and to send the request you need two things, you need company ID and API token. And to get company ID and API token, you can click on this setting and in this apps and plugins you can click on this personal api tokens here you can get your company id so this is my id and to generate token you can click on this new token and your token will be generated and to send any request like uh, to get all the candidates you need to pass company id in this url you can pass it directly or you can write colon and some variable name and you can assign value to this variable like i have given value to this company id so this is value and this is key and also you need to set authorization so you can write authorization bearer and your token or you can directly add here in this collection like i have given here in this authorization i have provided my token so now it will be validated to all of this request so i don't need to provide it again and again and guys in this video i will cover all the important requests you need to know like uh, to get all the candidates you can see here you have to use this url like uh, if you see here in this candidate section these all are the candidates and now to get all the candidates details you can use uh, this url and if i click on this send button all the candidates details will be filled so these all are the candidate details and suppose if I would like to get individual record like uh, for this candidate I can use candidate ID here you can see this is the candidate ID of this candidate so I can copy this and here I can paste and if I click on this send button it will fetch the details of individual candidate okay and next to filter a data, I can use this URL like uh, company ID and uh, then this source new candidates and I can pass here filters JSON. So I have defined variable filters by status. You can see here in this variables I have defined filter by status. So you need to write filter JSON like this way like status disqualified. So here I would like to fetch all the candidates that is disqualified and in this value you need to pass field status and in disqualified you can pass multiple value in this array so now if i click on this send button so there are no any candidates that is disqualified so now let me disqualify one candidate like if i go to this job section here suppose i would like to disqualify this candidate so i can click here suppose not a fit is the reason okay now if i click on this send button again it will give me the candidates who are disqualified okay next i can also face all the offers offers include job or talent pool so if i would like to get all the offers i can use this urls so company id slash offers so it will face all the candidates assigned to this job and also assigned to these talent pools so now if i click on this send button it will face all the candidates that is assigned to job or talent pool and if you like to face all the candidates that is assigned to job only you can use uh, this url you can pass kind equals job and now if I click on this send button it will fetch all the candidates that is assigned to job so it will fetch all these candidates okay and also if you like to fetch all the candidates that is assigned to talent pools you can pass kind equals talent pool and it will face all the candidates that is assigned to this talent pools so it will face candidates from this and also this so here you can see 
it will fetch these two candidates plus these candidates and now if you would like to get all candidates from talent pools or jobs you need to pass offer id like from this jobs i would like to get all the candidates from here so if i click on this and if i click on this uh, candidate here you can see this is the candidate id and this is the offer id candidate id will be different for all of these candidates but offer id will be same so all these candidates are having different candidate id but their offer id are same so you can pass that offer id to get all the candidates okay suppose uh, if i click on here and let me copy this id i can pass offer id here and it will fetch all the required candidates all the candidates that belongs to this job okay and also suppose for this talent pools and if i click on here and if you see here okay so there is no offer id but there is candidate id so i can copy this candidate id and uh, if i go to here i can get details of this candidate if i click on this send i will get the details of that candidate i can source for offer id so here this is the offer id so using candidate id also i can find the offer id control c and here i can use that offer id control v and it will fetch all the candidates so i have fetched offer id from this candidate so it will definitely fetch this broke instruction so here if i search broke you can see broke is present and also there will be details of this candidate so name is kendall so i can search for kendall also see so it will fetch all the candidates that belongs to this offer id next get all logs okay this is very important to get all the logs you can use this url if i click on this button it will fetch all the logs so if admin created disqualify or deleted candidate it will appear here so it will print all the logs suppose if you face skills you will get that changes here so any changes in the recruit app you will get all the data here okay and last one filter the logs by created date so here if you want to filter the data filter the logs you can use a filter json you need to pass this parents filter json and uh, you can pass and here you can pass the value i would like to filter the data by date so here i need to pass created it so here if you see created it i would like to filter data by this property created it and here i need to pass created it as a field and greater than or equal to this value and less than or equal to this value and this is the time stamp value suppose uh, if i let me copy this date i need to convert this date into time stamp you can use any online tool to convert this into time stamp or epoch value but uh, if you are programmer you can easily convert this into time stamp like in javascript i can use this browser also i can press ctrl c to j and here I can write like date dot parse and I can put that date control V okay this is the time stamp and I guess this is in millisecond control C control I need to paste here control V and I don't need this extra three zero and also let me paste here so greater than or equal to this time and less than or equal to let me change small value here suppose this is 8 okay i know there will be at least one candidate that lies in this date so if i click on this send it will give me details of that candidate so i can filter log using this filters json and guys i have prepared document for you so you can refer to this document to get all the details so to get all the candidates you can use this url 
and there are several information so you can follow this document like i would like to show you locks uh, where it is okay get all locks so when admin updated candidate fields it will give response like this so you can see admin updated candidate fields and when admin change the candidate stage also it will give this response admin change the candidate stage like when admin assigned candidate to offer so this will be the response when admin de assigned candidate from the offer so it will give all the logs if you update anything in the recruit app it will all present in the audit log so when admin viewed candidate also it will give this response when admin created candidate when admin deleted candidate when admin disqualified candidate when admin created event request link when candidate field visibility changed okay so if you change anything you will get all from the audit logs and to filter the logs and if you feel difficult to convert date time to time stamps you can use this tool this is the online tool and uh, you can use any tool you like and guys if you are searching for some extra url or extra api you can search uh, recruit api integration from here you will get all the api you can refer to this document to get all the api and i will paste this link in the video description and also i will give you this document link i hope this video is helpful to you if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will meet you in the next video thank you